Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Libras. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your June love reading. Shout out to the beautiful soul family. Thank you all so much for your continuous love and support. And welcome back to my returning subscribers. It is always a pleasure to have you here. Thank you so much for your comments and your feedback down below. And welcome to the ones that are new here, Libra. Thank you for joining and sharing your time with us today. Definitely, if today's content fulfills your spirit, don't forget to subscribe as well. We would love to have you here, Libra, a part of our soul family. And don't forget to set your notification bells for when I do go live on this channel for all 12 signs and also love live stream questions, all right? So no further ado, Libra. Let's dive into your general love reading, all right? So definitely take care what resonates for you, Libra, and leave on the table what does not, okay? If you would love to book a personal reading, my email details will be down below in the description box, okay? So no further ado, let's dive in, Libra. Let's see what's going on in your love life. What do we have for Libra placements? What is the collective messages for all Libra placements when it comes to love and romance? What's going on in Libra's love life? Let's see who is in your energy today and why. What do we have here for Libra placements? Who is in Libra's energy here and why? Let's see here. Who is it? Okay. The floor is going to start falling down again. Let me get up under the table here. Wow. We have here the Ten of Cups. Okay. I love it. I love it. I love it. This is Pisces energy here. Okay. So this could be indicating divine love. All right. This could be a relationship. Someone that you have fulfilled a family here with. All right, or this could be um, regarding family. Some of y'all, this person is wanting to have a family here with you. Let's see what we have here. This could be a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. Clarify the Ten of Cups here for Libra placements. Why do we have the Ten of Cups here and Libra's energy? Oh, wow. The devil. Capricorn energy here. What else? Why do we have the Ten of Cups and the devil out here? Why do we have the Ten of Cups and the devil out here? Wow, the Queen of Swords, that's your energy. So some of you all, you could have been married or in a relationship with someone that the relationship became very overwhelming and toxic. Some of y'all, this could have been a marriage that you were in with this person. This could be an ex-spouse here of yours, or this could have been the mother or the father of your child, or just someone that you were in a long-term commitment with, Libra, and realize because of the behavior patterns and things that transpire with you, you've been able to kind of realize what's going on. And I see you setting boundaries now for this person or this individual here. Again, this could have been someone that you had a family with. Let's see what else. Let's clarify the Queen of Swords. Why don't we have the Queen of Swords here? Why do we have the Queen of Swords? We got the Ace of Cups. And then we have the Four of Wands. Wow. Yeah, this is definitely a relationship here. I feel like whoever this person here is in this Capricorn energy... Um, or whoever this is that's in a relationship, the four ones talks about a relationship, all right? Someone wants a new beginning here, basically. Libra with you is what it is giving me, okay? With the Ten of Cups, the Devil, the Ace of Cups, and the Four of Cups, okay? And it's like you're having to 
speak up and speak your truth and let this person know how you feel. You know, you're being very direct and honest with this person here. So let's see how this person feel and what are some things that they may want to say right now. Because obviously things as far as your feelings don't look too happy towards this person. Wow, we got they can't stand you, Libra. Oh my. So there could be some energies around you or this could have been a third party situation here that was involved and they can't stand the fact that this person is with you. We have, let's fix this problem. Yeah, I feel like this is the reason why this person may be coming back towards you because of the behavior pattern here with the devil card, as I mentioned earlier. Yeah, we got, I got to do better now. Wow. So yeah, you really have let this person know what's going on. You really let this person have it. You know, I feel like somebody here may even have the audacity to come back to ask you after everything that has happened or what they've done here. Wow. Let's get one more card here. Let's see what else. What else does this person want to say to Libra right now? We have fuck that I'm fighting for you. Wow. So this person actually wants to come back in Libra and put in the work here. Yeah, they feel like with you, it's always been home sweet home. Yep, they're going to be admitting to you that they were wrong for whatever that they've done here towards you in the past. So that's why you kind of, you know, as this person approaches you, I can see you kind of making sure to protect your space and energy. And you're being mindful of what you say to this individual here. So let's see what is the potential outcome for you two, Libra. What is the potential outcome for Libra and this person here? I feel like there was a lot of people um, or this person may could have talked about you to friends or family or an ex here. And I could feel the jealousy energy. I could feel the energy of not being able to stay in you simply because of what this person that you were in a relationship is choosing to do. So because someone is choosing to want to fight for you, Libra, the ex here or a family member here or even a mutual friend could be upset about that. <clears throat> oh, well, who gives a shit, right? What's the potential outcome here for Libra? What's the potential outcome for this connection with Libra and this person today that is in Libra's energy? What is the potential outcome for these two? Wow, the Eight of Swords, which talks about negative thoughts, self-imposed restrictions, imprisonment, okay, victim, entrapment. So the potential outcome here is, is that this person is going to remain in this feeling of being stuck feeling stuck, having negative thoughts in her head, sitting in that guilty energy that this person has because of what has transpired between you two. Someone really, you know, um, is taking the, taking the consequences, taking the hit for that. You know, and I feel like the more they do that, the more that it, it upsets them because they've done this towards you and just been having this pattern for quite some time. So at least you've been able to help this person, Libra, and let them know what it is that they're doing, that shit ain't cool. It's what you letting this person know. Wow, Libra. I'm going to leave this portion of the reading here. All right. But definitely, if you would love again to book a personal reading, my email details are down below in the description box. Thank you again for sharing your time with me today. Definitely subscribe. We would love to have you here, part of the Soul Family. And definitely come and check us out on Patreon, Libra. All right. I love you. You all enjoy the remaining of your day. And I wish you and this person here the best, my loves. Bye-bye.